Coming up on News in Depth, no suitable candidates for GCOM top position, says opposition leader. 2,000 cartoons of tuna denied entry and trafficking in persons and migrant smuggling human rights violations. News in Depth begins now. With tonight's edition of News in Depth, I'm Matt for Wharton. Thanks for joining us. First up, opposition leader fails to find suitable candidates for GCOM's top position following second round of consultations. Opposition leader Barajaglia said he remains committed to submit a new list of candidates to be considered for the post of chairman of the Ghana Elections Commission. In a release from the Office of the Opposition Leader, the People's Progressive Party has said that after a second round of consultation with civil society, they were unable to find suitable candidates fitting the criteria. According to a release from the Opposition Leader, he had consultation with 55 representatives of territory civil society organizations, which include leaders from religious organizations, GTU and FITUG. The opposition leader was asked by President David Granger to submit a fresh list of candidates after the first list was rejected. We will return with more news on the other side of this break. Hey, looky there. Let me go to the techie boots. Boots? No, mama, mama. I ain't gonna get a lack of teeth in them big stinky 30 second boots. Plus, it can be more cheaper online. And don't got my favorite color. Pink. Let me go on. Online shopping. Cheaper, faster, better. Pass back. Me, me. Morning. Hi, honey. Your family will love new Abbey butter spread. Thank you, Mommy. A heart healthy choice with no cholesterol. Abbey is ready to use right out of the fridge. Smooth. Spreadable, rich and creamy, Abe is a great tasting butter spread. Try it today. Welcome back. 2,000 cartoons of tuna shipped from China refused to entry into Guyana. The Government Analyst Food and Drug Department has written to the Ghana Revenue Authority seeking the suspension of a third party agent identified as Central International Company over the habitual facilitation of food imports to Ghana without the necessary documentation. The Central International Company is a registered U.S. company. In the letter seen by this newscast, the reasons listed by the Food and Drug Department include the shipment to customers in Ghana whose labels are non-compliant with the laws of Guyana, that the company on January 25, 2017, facilitated the shipment of tuna from China to G. Backers Enterprise. Earlier today, the Food and Drug Department said together with the Customs and Trade Administration refused entry for sale on the local market a shipment of 2,000 cartoons of Buick tuna. The tuna, according to the release, originated from China with the label Buick instead of Brunswick. Morning. Hi, honey. Your family will love new Abbey butter spread. Heart healthy choice with no cholesterol, Abe is ready to use right out of the fridge. Smooth, spreadable, rich and creamy, Abe is a great tasting butter spread. Try it today. Nothing compares to the class and beauty of Beeson windows and doors. Engineered by professionals and built to last longer than the competition. Buy 10 windows and get one 24 by 16 bathroom window absolutely free. No tricks, no gimmicks, and no hidden fees. Prices starting from 13.5 VAT inclusive. So visit our showroom today at lot 1228 New Echoes Industrial Site or BPAC's building on Regent Street and save big on UPVC or aluminum windows. To order now, call 622 4197 or 226 1292. Takes the hassle out of online shopping, making it faster, easier, and cheaper. With four flights weekly from Miami, get your item within days of delivery at our Miami warehouse. 
Register at www.passpacks.com and start shopping right away. Or order at our local office at 188 Waterloo Street. We even deliver your items straight to your door if you need. You pay for the actual weight of your items so you save on your freight. Passpack, your cheaper alternative for online shopping. A division of Pass Cargo Guyana. Visit us today at 188 Waterloo Street, Georgetown, next to the former Astor Cinema, or contact us on telephone number 223-0738. You can also visit us on Facebook. Trafficking in persons and migrant smuggling are crimes against humanity. Guyana is committed to the fight against human trafficking and migrant smuggling. Alicia Reese, advisor to Social Protection Minister Amna Ali, gave the commitment at a peer-to-peer -peer exchange meeting on trafficking in human beings and smuggling of migrants held at the Marriott Hotel. Reese said Ghana has implemented a number of measures that not only prosecute perpetrators but also protect victims. In January 2017, the National Plan of Action for the Prevention and Response to Trafficking in Persons 2017 to 2018 was launched. Unlike the previous action plan, this plan is a comprehensive plan which focuses on prevention, protection, prosecution, and partnerships to combat in trafficking. The national plan includes a victim-centered and rights-based approach in assisting and protecting traffic victims and mechanisms to ensure that victims are protected by law enforcement as well as methods to strengthen our judicial process to handle these cases. Derek Lam, head of political press and information for the delegation of European Union, in speaking on the commitment of the European Union in the fight against trafficking in persons and migrant smuggling, said they are multi-million dollar businesses for criminal efforts which must be dismantled. They are also increasingly related to human rights violations and even death. They are also, sorry, criminal networks are also very opportunistic. They shift their profile and activity to provide for service changes, which results in those networks being increasingly highly criminal. The meeting which started today runs into a Thursday and has brought together representatives from a number of countries to address the issues of trafficking in persons and migrant smuggling. That's a wrap for this edition of News in Depth. Do join us again same time tomorrow for another edition.